guys so i just finished filming well i didn't just finish i filmed a shein haul earlier and i <laughs> was taking some photos like for instagram and stuff and the point is my room is a mess let me show you so this is the freaking aftermath i have a bed sheet here that's clean that i need to fold and put away but look at the aftermath you guys um i'm a little overwhelmed luckily what's in the dryer right now that i was washing is a blanket so i don't have to fold any more laundry at least not for a couple more hours so that's good but i need to fix this room because i want to um start editing the shein haul so i can probably get it up maybe today's saturday by the way so happy saturday but maybe i'll be able to get it up if i really go in maybe i can get up tomorrow sunday which would be awesome because i know that a lot of people are home on sundays and they catch up on youtube but i want to get this house clean so that i'm able to edit in peace so we are going to put on a podcast i'm going to listen to some anything goes by emma chamberlain if you haven't listened to her podcast it's really good it's called anything goes and literally she talks about like anything and everything but right now she was talking about the power or the power the pressure to overachieve which is so freaking relatable like i don't know if you guys feel this way but i was just talking about this with my husband like a couple days ago i was having like a freaking mental breakdown because if i take a couple days to just not do anything like i don't clean i don't do laundry i'll just come home eat some dinner and then watch some tv do stuff on my phone and then go to bed i feel like such a sense of guilt like i can't do that i just feel all these bad things about myself if i'm not being productive and if i'm not doing something like even if it's social media stuff like at least i'm doing that on my phone but yeah that pressure is just crazy so she's talking about that and she's saying that she told her dad that she felt like such a loser because she didn't do anything for like three days and he was like that's normal like why do you feel like that like it's normal to need a few days off but that's as far as i got in the podcast so we'll see what good advice emma has <laughs> to make me feel better because hey okay, guys i'm gonna play my podcast and then we will get to cleaning to an escape room my very first escape room it was so much fun but i went with my job i guess you could say i have two main bosses and they booked an escape room for our team as like a team building exercise so cool you guys they're like the coolest people ever but anyway we did the escape room and it was so much fun and when we got out they were selling candles so i got this candle i'm gonna try to see if i can find their like website or instagram i don't know if it's even on here but it's called via rue candle company and i got this scent hollywood hills it smells so so good so i'm gonna switch out a candle that i had so i had a candle on this candle stand right here that i got from bath and body works <laughs> that thing just flew off so i'm gonna put this one here and i'm gonna light it in a second but look how pretty things like this make me so happy look at luna you like it, it smells good huh <laughs> so that's what the candle looks like but i just wanted to show you guys because we gotta shop small the people on etsy are insane like if you have an etsy store you're just super cool <laughs> 
I love getting like customized things. So I went on Etsy and I looked up candles just out of curiosity. There's so many. There's like candles with um, stones in them, like dried flowers. There's just some beautiful, beautiful candles. So if you guys are interested, I would say search Etsy, look up candles because I actually also got a few phone case. Isn't that so freaking cute? It has like this, what is this, like a cheetah. Um, it says where it's always sunny, a cactus, a little rose. I just love this. I think it's so freaking cute. And I actually just got this case for a dollar on Shein. <laughs> it's just like this simple nude. So I'm gonna switch it out right now. Ooh, and this case is heavy duty, you guys. It's like good, good quality. It feels like it's super secure i don't know what it is about a new phone case but it like does something to me like it's so satisfying i feel like i just got a new phone <laughs> i'm like oh you know on the phone hello <laughs> i love it so if you guys want to check out case me i will link them down below their instagram is at um i think it's at i put this down and i started looking for my phone let me give you the code girl because we need to save some coin the code is Brittany 10 finished listening to an episode of where should we begin which is another podcast <laughs> if you're new here i'm like super into podcasts but it's by a therapist named esther perel oh my god she is brilliant every time she speaks i just like it blows my mind i really like want to make it a goal and a dream to have a session with her like <sighs> I just, I can't put into words. She has a podcast and it's called Where Should We Begin? And you're kind of like a fly on the wall on her one time therapy session. So typically it's couples, but she also does other ones. Like she did one that was like a mother daughter. She does a lot of straight couples, but she also does a lot of like LGBTQ plus different uh, couples a lot of different dynamics like the one I listen to right now was a trans woman I wanted to kind of just let me turn the vent off for a second Sorry, the vent was on that whole time But I wanted to like bring her up because you can't just expect every single person to have the luxury I need to turn this vent on You can't expect everybody to have the luxury of going to therapy. I feel like even just the podcast really opens my eyes to different things like every single one has a little message that you can pull from to pull into your daily life at least that's what i take from it everybody's relationship is different everybody's situation is different like everybody's life and their up what is it called their upbringing is different i feel like listening to the podcast and listening to so many people's different situations and how a part of their life totally resonates with you even though everything else doesn't like it's just crazy you guys we're all just going through the same things and we don't realize it whether it's a relationship thing a thing with your parents a thing with how you grew up anyways i really like that podcast and i thought it was such a good episode so we are making dinner i am making some fettuccine alfredo and i was not about to do it from scratch honey it is actually 10 p.m on a saturday night i've had such a busy day my sister came over was able to film a video so i got a video done alexa stop
feel like I look super pale, but I am gonna go to brunch with my mom. So I am wearing this black bodysuit with this green skirt. The skirt I got from Shein, and this bodysuit is really, really good. I actually got it from Fashion Nova. So I will link them both down below. So yeah, we're gonna go to brunch. We're going to this spot called, let me see. Oh, it's called Bell's Beach House. So we're gonna go eat brunch there. It's in Venice, so it's near the beach, so it should be pretty nice. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna take my camera, but I'll probably try to vlog a little bit with my phone. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> So quick little Target haul. I got just a few things. I actually got more like grocery style um, items, but those are already in the fridge. The first thing is this apple cinnamon breakfast bars. I love these for breakfast. I can't really eat like a heavy breakfast in the morning. I don't know why. And then I also got some stuff for dinner this week. So I'm gonna make some shrimp Alfredo. So I got some Alfredo sauce. And then I'm gonna make some chicken tikka masala. So I got some sauce for that too. And then I actually wanna make this soup that I saw on I think it was on Pinterest so I got some chicken broth and then I get these baby foods for Luna I love these because they're a hundred percent vegetable so this one's like a hundred percent green beans there's no like added sugars or anything like that that could make your dog sick so that's why I like to get these they have pumpkin sweet potato next is more like household items so baby wipes for the restroom because we are a baby wipe household I also got some laundry stuff because I need to restock I got some gain pods I just needed a few more then I ran out of scent beads so I got this one I wanted to get the extra big bottle and I think this is like the medium size so it's not gonna fill up the container all the way but that's okay I got some fabric softener this one is the best you guys it smells so freaking good Good morning so it's Tuesday yesterday I just went to work regular and then I got home made some dinner it was so good I made some barbecue chicken mashed potatoes and corn it was really good but for some reason my stomach like it just didn't sit well with me I don't know why it's a little later now I think it's like 9 30 so I feel a little bit better but I just did not feel well this morning right now I'm just gonna read and like ease into the day It was all a big mistake, never meant to miss the date I was caught up with my friends, I forgot that we had plans So the roses on the...